Hello and welcome to this week's Sports Spotlight. I'm joined by Sports Editor Nick Housen to pour over the weekend sporting highlights. We'll start off with the Formula One where Lewis Hamilton won the World Drivers Championship in thrilling style at Abu Dhabi. After this victory, his second now, he's gone on to talk about um, a period of dominance he can achieve with Mercedes and hopefully become an all-time racing great. Do you see that happening? It's somewhat difficult to predict. I mean, Formula One's regulations are changing so much that it's difficult to, to know if teams, how quickly certain teams can react to that. There's no doubt that Hamilton has the talent. We knew that from his very first season when he missed out on the title in the final race and then when he went on to win, win the championship for the first time the following year. So we know he has the talent. We know he certainly from this year he has the car and Mercedes will certainly start next season as favourites for the Constructors' title. But it's slightly difficult. You can see a couple of teams emerging already at the beginning of this season, at the end of this season even. Um, the likes of McLaren, uh, Williams, you know, have had a really good year as well. And obviously there's teams like Ferrari to bite back and so Red Bull. So it's difficult to predict whether Hamilton can sustain a period of dominance a la, you say, a sort of a Michael Schumacher or, or a Seb Vettel. But there's no doubt that he's the man to beat going into to 2015. Moving on to the boxing this week, it was cleverly against Bellew and it was a rematch uh, from the previous fight in which Cleverly won and mm. Bell, you managed to get revenge here. Where does this leave each uh, prospective British fighter? Certainly slightly different directions. But for Tony Bellew, he'll be looking at a world title shot now against Marco Huck and that's something that will certainly be hopefully imminent in 2015. He's even spoken about fighting at Goodison Park and his, his much-loved Everton. So hopefully that, that's something he'll be looking at. For Cleverly, having now won one, lost one against Bellew, he'll, he'll be wanting a rematch, sort of a, a decider. But given that we had to wait sort of three years to get to a second a rematch here, he may well have to wait a bit longer and his career is somewhat in the blocks. Obviously his campaign to try and get that third decider, try and make it as attractive as possible. Arguably the rematch in itself didn't really catch a light, it wasn't a classic fight, didn't really come alive maybe until the end and that's really when Bellew pulled away on the judges scorecard. So different directions certainly for these two. And finally we move on to the football, the biggest clash at the weekend was Arsenal at home to United and United managed to get their first away win of the season against the Gunners. Now, was this just a bad day at the office for Arsene Wenger or is this really a, a period of terminal decline for the Gunners? That's the general overriding feeling is that this an unlucky Arsenal defeat has, has happened far too often, uh, certainly in the last couple of years under Arsene Wenger. Um, there'll certainly be growing questions at, at his future, certainly with Arsenal's inability to beat the so-called bigger teams in the league, the likes of Manchester United, the likes of Chelsea and Manchester City. I think Saturday's defeat was accentuated by the problems that Louis van Gaal's team have had this season. The defence has been uh, decimated by injury, the entire team has been decimated by injury. I hadn't won an away game all season and they go to the Emirates and it's okay, Arsenal were all over them in, in the first half. But they seem to keep them at arm's length in the second half and it, the fact that it took a, a, a stunning goal by Olivier Giroud in, in the manner in which it came almost again summed up the problems that Arsenal are having in sort of putting away these sort of teams. There's no doubt that it stems from greater problems with, from within the club. I think there is also a feeling to be careful what you wish for. Uh, look at some other teams that have perhaps changed their manager and it's not gone quite that way. So for Arsenal, there's a, there's a lot of questions to be answered um, and, and Arsene Wenger needs to, needs to address those as soon as he can. Well, to follow the rest of our sports coverage, go to our website, ibtimes.co.uk forward slash sport.